Hello, hello, hello! It's Chris again with Multi Tank Addiction, back again on another species spotlight. Today's species is the T Bar Cichlid, Crypto Hero Sagica. In this video, we will cover the basics necessary to care for this wonderful, marvelous fish. When it's just you, well, times can be tough. The T Bar Cichlid also known as Crypto Hero Sagica for a scientific name, and also the other two, which would be Chiclosoma Sagica and Arcocentris Sagica. Temperature range is 72 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit with a pH range of 6.4 to 7.6, a water hardness of 5 to 15 degrees. Now, the T-Bar Cichlid, also known as the Sagica Cichlid, is a Central American cichlid found in the freshwater streams and lakes in the Pacific Slope of Costa Rica. The fish has a tan colored with seven indistinct bars on the body. The third bar is usually prominent and coupled with a dark lateral stripe running from the gill cover, resulting in a horizontal T-shaped mark, hence the common name T-bar cichlid. T-bar cichlid inhabits rivers which have moderate to strong currents in Costa Rica at up to 2,000 feet of elevation, but they are not found in the rapids. They prefer smaller rocks and gravel, they are omnivores, feeding on algae filaments, aquatic insects, seeds, and bottom detritus. The male sagica reaches up to 12 centimeters, which is 5 inches. A mature female that are ready to spawn have a beautiful golden yellow color on their dorsal and anal fins. These fish exhibit a number of different cichlid spawning behaviors, including cave spawning, which is the most common, and open su substrate spawning. Which method they use seems to depend solely on the mood of the parents, not on the availability of a suitable spawning cave. They pair off with a dance in which the male swims parallel to the female. The males can be very, really aggressive with a female that is not ready to spawn, to the point where he could kill her. The female will find a secluded shelter to lay many eggs, such as a large crevice between rocks or a nest dug in the gravel. The male will then fertilize the eggs and then ferociously protect them from any other fish which come near. Upon hatching after three days from the female laying them, the fry will attempt to swim with the egg enclosed around its body. Eventually, the fry will resemble tiny versions of their parents. The female and male occasionally move the fry in their mouth to, to the nest if they stray too far from it. However, the male may, on occasion, eat a few of them. They are very good parents and are often able to raise young to adult size in crowded community aquariums. And as you can see by the video, these guys are very protective of their fry. I do have a clutch of fry in there right now. And well, let's just say this. They, uh, they are very protective. <laughs> they don't even like the camera going close to their babies. So... If you do decide to get these bad boys, they are related to the convict cichlid. So the reputation of the convict cichlid is that they are very aggressive when they are bearing, taking care of babies. So keep that in mind. And, well, you know, that's, that's pretty much everything, guys. So I want to bring to your attention that I have another series that's also on Mondays which is the beginner's guide to fish keeping. So if you are interested in getting some information on the basics of fish keeping, then that is where you're going to want to go. That video is posted every Monday morning at 6 a.m. until the series is over. So just remember, guys, we're feeding that addiction one tank at a time, and I hope you have a wonderful day.